Hello trumpet players, welcome to your first lesson. In this video we're going to talk about how to properly open the case, the parts of the instrument, and how to take care of your trumpet. So the first thing I need you to do is pick out a chair. Now you need a really sturdy chair. Let me show you the chair that I'm sitting on. Okay, It's almost like a kitchen chair or dining room chair. It needs to be really hard on the bottom, so not with a cushion, not your couch, a piano bench would be okay, or a folding chair, something that's really hard. Because when we play the trumpet or any instrument, you gotta get your feet flat on the floor and back off your chair. So a computer chair might be okay, but if you try to put your feet on the floor and you roll away, that's not that good. So if you need to pause this video and go look for a chair, that would be great. Okay, the next thing you need to get is your trumpet, and you're gonna put it on the floor right side up in the case in front of your feet. How do we know which way is right side up? Well, I'll show you. Okay, most of the cases, the top of the case has the brand. So this is a Bach trumpet. You might have a Jupiter, you might have a Holton. There's all different brands, but we want usually the uh, name of the trumpet brand to be on top of the case. The next thing we'll know is the top, is when you put the case on the floor, the latches, by the way, put the handle toward your feet, okay? The latches are going to pop up. So your trumpet case should look like this right now. I'm gonna spin mine around and do it towards you so you can see. But when you open your case, you always do it towards your body so you can see what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna flip mine over for you, okay? The other way I know that this is right side up is that the latches go up. I pulled them up, okay? If you were having your case and you are pushing the latches down, when you open your case, all the pieces are going to spill out and you're going to damage your trumpet. So let's make sure in front of your feet, you pop your latches up and you open your case. Okay? There should only be two parts in your case. We have the mouthpiece, this tiny little ring, and you have the rest of your trumpet. We can look at the trumpet while it's sitting in the case, and I'm gonna show you mine by holding it up, of the different parts. Now, we're not going to play the whole trumpet in this lesson, we're only going to play the mouthpiece. So while it looks super inviting to try to put the whole thing together and play it, you'll probably either break your eardrums or break the trumpet. So let's go slow, okay? The first thing we need to know about the trumpet is that it is an expensive instrument. So if your uh, name tag happens to be red, that means it's from k &S Music, they actually have a sticker in your case that tells you how much that trumpet costs if you break it, or if you lose it, or if you break something that can't be fixed, your parents will owe them that amount of money. It's probably close to $1,000, if not over. So you need to take care of this like it's your own baby. No one is touching this instrument besides you, and maybe me if I need to fix it. Okay? Not your parents, not your siblings. Oh, I used to play the trumpet 10 years ago. Great. Play your own trumpet. This is yours just for you. Okay? We're going to start our next video by taking out our mouthpiece. So you can take out your mouthpiece right now. Hold on tight. Don't let it hit the ground. We're going to close the case, do the latches, and put the case on the floor. You are now ready for the next video.